Hi, and welcome to Go Fly Fishing. Today, I'm going to give you three of my personal tips to how you can catch more sea trout in the spring. Let's go fly fishing. We are early in the spring now and the water temperature is about 6 degrees and slowly rising. So we can expect to see some shrimps, some bait fish and some gammaras that the sea trout is hunting for. It can be really difficult to choose which fly you should fish with and also which size the fly should be in. And that leads me to tip number one and that is fish with two flies on your leader. Almost all my sea trout fishing is with two flies so I always have an option for them. And that has given me the opportunity to fish with two different sizes, two different color combinations, and it has really improved my fishing. Earlier today, I saw rising fish and it was clearly that they were feeding on gammaras. So uh, today's setup was uh, I used uh, the bait fish imitation uh, as my main fly, and further up on the leader, I used a small gammaras imitation. So, uh, so let's uh, check it out. Sea trout fishing can be quite difficult, but it can also be easy and fun if you find the fish. Tip number two is to plan your fishing trip in advance. So if you find the perfect sea trout location, don't stay there the entire day just casting and casting if nothing's happening. Actually, the best tool you have beside your fly rod and your flies is actually your car. And sea trout fishing is like hunting and it's much, much easier for you to find the fish that it is for the fish to find you. So when you have find the perfect sea trout location that you want to try out, make sure that the area has three, four additional spots nearby so you easily can go with your car. And it also helps setting a time frame for how long you would like to fish on each spot. And it can be half an hour, it can be a couple of hours, but make a plan of how long you would like to stay on each spot before you move to the next one. If you apply this to your fishing in the spring, I'm sure that you will increase your fishing and hopefully you will catch some more sea trout. So which flies should you have in your fly box when you're hunting for sea trout in the spring? There's a lot of flies to choose from, but in tip number three, I'm going to give you my basic setup when I'm fishing with two flies on my leader. For my main fly, I like to use some shrimp imitation. I like the, the pink, the orange, the yellow one, and maybe the white shrimp will also be a good color. And I also use some bait fish imitation on my, as my main fly. And then it's usually the jiggy flies in, in various color combinations. Further up on the leader, I like to use some gammaras imitation early in the spring. And uh, I have them in different color combination as well. And uh, I tie them in hook eight to 10, lightly dressed so they don't tangle up my leader when it's uh, windy outside. Later on in the spring, uh, I changed my setup a little bit. And then I use uh, the bait fish imitation as my main fly and I move uh, the shrimp imitation further up on the leader as my dropper fly. 
and that combination has been giving me great results in the in the spring you can of course add some attractive flies or some other flies to your uh, your setup but uh, please let me know down below in the in the comments uh, if you have a, a setup that is uh, working for you with uh, different flies Hi guys, today's fishing trip is uh, nearly over. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, vlog episode. And in my next vlog episode, I'm going to show you how I tie my leader with two flies. And I think you'll be going to be really surprised how easy it is to tie uh, that leader. So uh, please follow my YouTube channel and subscribe. And I will see you next time and go fly fishing. <laughs>